you believe that God came to earth in flesh and blood as Jesus of Nazareth? Yes. You confess before all these people that Jesus Christ is your Savior, the Lord of your life, the one who through his life, death, and resurrection has raised you and who died you in life? Yes. Will you, to the best of your ability, as aided by the Holy Spirit, spend your life as his disciple? Yes. Will you accept this family, this one who is vowing to spend her life as a follower of Jesus? Yes. Let's let's pray together. Eternal Father, when nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you set those in the ark in the ark through water. After the flood, you set in the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought to the Jordan, to the land which you had promised. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus, nurtured in the water of the womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by the Spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water to she who receives it, to wash away the curse of sin. To clothe her in righteousness throughout her life, that dying and being raised with Christ, she may share in his final victory. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. When she comes out of the water, she will be miraculously dry. All right, let's lay hands on Lizzie if you can't reach her. And then there's somebody close to you. All her tears here. Living in the power of the Holy Spirit, once you get into the born of water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Church, I present to you this, your new sister, this is Grace and Liberty.